good morning everyone and welcome to visualization session and all of you who are present in this session i assure you that by investing this 20 minutes of your magical morning you will get some value from this session and yesterday we had a session on being in the present moment meditating on being mindful and it it has a very much impact, a positive impact on all the areas of your life. Today, we are going to we are going to have a topic which is very important, and we come back to this topic again and again more frequently because this is this is the need of time. So today's topic is again emotional healing, and at the same time. We have become part of Plan to Win to achieve our goals. So we are also going to focus on visualizing our goals. And you might have seen that there are a few words, few sentences, few activities that I do regularly every day because there is a reason behind it. The reason is that when water drops every day, on a stone, the stone also has to change the shape. Same way, I am trying to program your subconscious mind by saying some words repeatedly every day so that that word will become your nature. And throughout the day, in case you go through any situation, that word will save you. That word will bring back your attention to be in the right zone. That's why I request each one of you to be attentive in this session and help me to program your subconscious mind so that you will think in a certain way, you will speak in a certain way, and you will act in a certain way that will help you to become a better version of yourself. So now let's begin today's session with practicing mindfulness. Everyone sit straight and close your eyes. Pay attention on breathing in and breathing out. Be the watchman at the door of your nose and be aware of your every breath coming in and going out. And now pay attention on the voice that you can hear. Observe it and be aware of it. And now, together pay attention on breathing in, breathing out, and the voice that you can hear. Pay attention on the colors that you can see while your eyes are closed. If you can see any particular color or there is no color at all, it's complete darkness. Observe it and be aware of it. And now pay attention together on breathing in, breathing out and the voice that you can hear and the colors that you can see.
now pay attention on the touch that you can feel of your own clothes on your body and your own weight on the surface where you are seated. Observe it and be aware of it. And now pay attention together on breathing in, breathing out, the voice that you can hear, the colors that you can see, and the touch that you can feel. Pay attention on the taste that you can feel on your tongue. If there is any particular taste you feel or there is no taste at all, observe it and be aware of it. And now pay attention together on breathing in, breathing out, the voice that you can hear, the colors that you can see, the touch that you can feel, and the taste that you can observe on your tongue. Also, please make sure that you are seated straight. Your spinal cord is in straight or in irritated position and your eyes will remain closed throughout the session. And now by paying attention on all our senses, we are in the present moment. Your mind is not wandering in the past. Your mind is not wandering in the future. You are completely in this present moment. And this present moment is the truth. This present moment is the reality. We all must practice to live in this present moment always and forever. And now imagine your life the life of your dreams happening right before your very eyes. Visualize your top three goals that you have written down in your goal sheet. Feel it. Feel it as much as possible. This universe understands your feelings. ये एहसासों की दुनिया है अपने अंदर भरपूर एहसास निर्माण कीजिए नाउ यू कैन सी स्माइलिंग फेसेस ऑफ योर लव वंस योर फैमिली फ्रेंड्स रिलेटिव्स दे आर वेरी हैप्पी फॉर यू फॉर यू बीइंग एबल टू अचीव योर गोल्स And now as you can see your goals happening in your mind, there is immense confidence in you now that if you can achieve this goal, you can achieve every goal of your life. Your self-worth has increased and your belief system has become stronger than before.
in the process of achieving your goals one after another, the most significant thing that you have ever achieved is the kind of person you have become. You have become a better human being, a better version of yourself. And ultimately, you have become a blessing for people around you and a beautiful gift to this world. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. What you visualize, that you actualize. You are creating mm -hmm. the image and likeness of God. You are the most powerful being God has ever created. You are the most remarkable, the most magnificent, the most splendid being God has ever created. But you do not know who you are. And I tell you this today, you are your own rule maker. You set the guidelines and you are the only one who can assess how well you are doing. You are an architect of your life. You can write your own stories and you are the only one who can design your life the way you want it to be lived. If you want to know the secret of this universe, you can see it in terms of energy, vibration, and frequency. And now each one of you is vibrating in the higher frequency, the frequency of love, joy, happiness, excitement, and gratitude. I can feel there is peace in your heart, <clears throat> calmness and serenity. And now as each one of you is vibrating in the higher frequency, this is the right moment to send your positive intentions to the universe. say in your mind, all the people who are suffering from COVID-19 or going through ill health get miraculously healed. If you know someone in your surrounding who is suffering from COVID-19 or going through ill health, take that person's name and say, this person who is suffering from COVID-19 or going through ill health get miraculously healed. All the families who are struggling during these days get peace in their heart. All the professionals who are working tirelessly and selflessly for humanity get divine power and divine protection from the divine source to perform their duties. And let there be peace, joy, and happiness again on this planet Earth. And now, I want to remind you that your inner world defines your outer world. Aapki manasthiti aapki parasthiti banati hai. Do not allow any person or any situation to take control of your inner world. You are the only thinker in your mind. Nobody else can think for you. And your thoughts are nothing but your inner voices. Choose to empower those thoughts which are in alignment 
with your highest goal or highest vision and choose not to empower those thoughts which are not in alignment with your highest goal or highest vision. Choose to delete those thoughts and choose not to think that thought again. Cut the crap, CTC. Mm -hmm. And now let's think about emotional healing as we declared in the beginning of this call. In life, we go through many situations, many challenges, which are not in our control. We do the things excellently, which are in our control, but there are few things which are not in our control. And no matter how well prepared you are for this life, it will happen with you. The things will happen which are not in your control. And then there will be an emotional breakdown. In this situation, whenever you feel worried, tell yourself it's okay to feel worried. It is just a feeling, an emotion, which is an energy in motion, which needs your attention like a small child. So whenever you feel worried, Pay attention, be aware of this feeling, acknowledge it and command it, I release this feeling of being worried. And the moment you command it, it goes away from you. Whenever you feel angry, it's okay to feel angry. It's just an emotion, energy in motion, which needs your attention like a small child. When you feel angry, feel it. Be aware of this feeling that you are getting angry now. Acknowledge it and the next moment command it. I release this feeling of getting angry. And the moment you command it, it goes away from you. It's okay to feel the fear. It's okay to be fearful at some time in some situations. Being fearful is just an emotion, energy in motion, which needs your attention like a small child. Whenever you feel fearful, be aware of it. Acknowledge, acknowledge it and command it that I release this feeling of fearfulness, of fearfulness. And the moment you command it, it goes away from you. It's okay to feel stressed sometimes while managing your professional and personal life. It may happen that you may go through some stress in your life. But whenever you go through any stress, be aware of it, acknowledge it. It is just an emotion, energy in motion that needs your attention. Whenever you feel there is a stress, feel it, acknowledge it and command it that I release this feeling of stress. And the moment you command it, it goes away from you. It's okay to feel the time-bound anxiety. I want to do this today. I want to do this on that time. I'm not yet prepared. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to deliver a lecture. I want to face this situation. It's okay to feel time-bound anxiety. Again, it is just an emotion, energy in motion that needs your attention. Whenever you feel time-bound anxiety, acknowledge it, be aware of it. And a very next moment, command it, I release this feeling of time-bound anxiety. And the moment you command it, it goes away from you. And then next you can say that it's okay 
nothing serious is going on here it's okay nothing serious is going on here it's okay nothing serious is going on here by doing this simple practice you can be emotionally strong in the very next moment you can choose how to feel and i want you to choose happiness always and now we have created a strong aura around you a very strong positive magnetic field around you which will only attract positive energy and which will not allow any negative energy to even touch you i want each one of you to carry this energy all throughout the day and deal with every person and situation with love and grace and now let's spend one minute in the sphere of silence and now slowly come back to this moment slowly gradually open your eyes and one thing that you will have to look after is your state of mind always ensure that you are vibrating in the higher frequency and if not check your emotion and bring back your attention again on love joy happiness excitement and gratitude and yes if you feel that there is a fall in the number of participants i agree with this there was a time when i used to have 250 to 300 participants in a session and now we have participants in single digit eight or nine but i accept it everything in this world has downfall rise and downfall rise and downfall and this is the process of this life so after this process we will have a good number of participants in visualization session again now this forum is open those who want to share their experience with all of us please go ahead raise your hand or unmute yourself yes gk hey vikas you know i am so amazed at your wisdom you know jitne aap young ho utne aap old ho in your mind and uh, you know what i yesterday i was having a major stress sort of a day it's very stressed day and i was having emotional outbursts in my mind i felt like crying and it was all to do with timelines like you mentioned timelines and i felt like i'm a failure maybe not having to having a uh, fit in uh, like the jo committed times hain unko adhere karne mein uh, not being and so everything was starting from there and uh, i was irritated angry and uh, but the best part was that soon as i was that even like this first three sentences i uttered and my being i could uh, be very very aware of my being earlier also i was had started to be but then i paused everything in the morning i went out in a corner and i sat and i just sat with myself and quietly closed my eyes and sat and deep breathed and reflected i was there for 
a full probably half an hour or 40 minutes just trying to get back to a calm and these words came back to me what you said that it's okay nothing serious is going on here and i realized what is more critical to me is that job or the people my people are more critical and then i went and uh, sat across them took up a lot of courage as a ceo but i went and sat across uh, the people who just pay outburst hui thi to two of them and they actually they actually hugged me and we all cried together two of us three of us and i could complete the feeling although i was in a not a very very still very happy state because of whatever happened but this was a breakthrough ki mai reflect kar payi mai apne aap ko calm kar payi and i could share what i was feeling and why and they agreed they had some interesting things to share i i really it was first time that it happened and this sentence had been a major thing in the whole of it it's okay nothing serious is going on here but to you my question is now that having said that in and actually the moment i let it go na automatically my team said ki maine kaha it's okay i don't care if it happens or not happens i care of you guys are we all are in a good space and we are a happy people so let it be nahi hua to koi baat nahi and uske next to me i heard them saying on behind my back let's do it quickly you know isko khatam karte nahi mam ho jayega aaram se ho jayega mm hmm so different us being on but mera yes. question tum aap se ye tha ki jab aisa kabhi ho to uh, you just today said energy release karo you know release that angry energy but do you think we can channelize this angry energy and instead of releasing it channelize it for something constructive because sometimes kya hota hai this energy itself fuels your your velocity okay so my question and inquiry is right now we don't need to answer it okay. if we can reflect on it but this is something i want to know that very often i have now been able to realize how i'm feeling what i'm feeling and how to take it yeah. but next usko hum utilize kaise kare apne kaam mein aur us पर्सन so people love you for being genuine with them and for being genuine in your work now second thing to channelize your energy of being angry or getting worried or something like that yes you can channelize that energy to get the thing done or to make that thing in a positive way to transform that energy into a different zone and the point here is that the point here is that you do not have to be in that zone where it is a feeling of being victimized this is the main concern you need to realize whether i am feeling down if yes get back from that zone and feel the energy which is a positive energy which is going to motivate you not demotivate you so correctly you said if i am getting angry i want to channelize this energy to do something productive to do something constructive so you can use that energy for the work that you want to do efficiently and effectively but why i say to release that feeling only reason that you do not need to be in that zone for any more out of that zone and this is the next step that you can use that energy to build something constructive to do something productive so we can do it in both ways first release this feeling feeling of victimized feeling of feeling bad 
feel good and get that energy into your work so that you do your work more efficiently and more effectively. And everything that I'm sharing with you, I go through it personally in my life. If you feel that I am meditation visualization instructor and I'm powerful person, but it happens in my life as well. Sometimes I plan something and it goes away and something else happens which was not planned. And there the learning comes in picture. I take into that situation, did I do everything correctly which was in my control? Yes. Things which are not in my control, I cannot do anything. But I can come back to the normal state of mind which was making me to go down. And by coming into the right zone, then I can work constructively and productively on that area to go and reach my desired goal. And I feel there is a need of this emotional healing and that's why I conduct this session repeatedly. So now I want each one of yeah. you to- Thank you, Vikas. Yes, GK. I hope that I answer, answered your question correctly. Yes, I got that. That 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 brought us to a rational place and a powerful place rather than being victimized. And uske baad, whatever decisions we take would be rational, and we can then construct how we want to do reconstruct. So I got an answer. That yes. Now I can being there. I can create constructive. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, GK, for bringing it up for other participants as well. Now let's move towards the end of this session. I believe in this, that life is beautiful and we all can make it more beautiful. You might have heard this sentence from me every day. This is my affirmation and I make my life the way I think and I believe. Life is beautiful and we all can make it more beautiful. This world should be a better place because you are born in it. जब भी कोई काम करो जब भी कोई कार्य करो तो उसे ऐसे करो कि उस काम को कर हो कि तुमने उसे किया है एंड थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इन विद इन दिस जर्नी ऑफ माइंडफुलनेस विद मी थैंक यू फॉर बीइंग विद मी थैंक यू फॉर बीइंग सच वंडरफुल पार्टिसिपेंट्स एंड आई विश ईच वन ऑफ यू अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल एंड अ ब्लेस्ड डे अहेड थैंक यू विकास थैंक यू हैव अ ग्रेट डे थैंक यू